Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shaloma Lawson. On today's bulletin, refuse collection in Bulawayo is set to improve. A Women's Farmer Association is launched. The International Book Fair in Harare has a big student following this year. And Zimbabwe's National Rugby Union team scouts for talent. A donation of refuse trucks from Australia and Germany is set to defuse a health time bomb in Bulawayo. Unit Ferrezai reports. Collection of refuse in the city of Bulawa is said to improve following a recent donation of three trucks by the council's foreign partners. Residents expressed gratitude towards the donation which they said would help improve service delivery. We are so appreciative about this system whereby they are coming to collect our refuse. It's been a long time where we're wondering where we're going to put all our refuse, but now we are so grateful that there's this company that has been contracted to come and collect our refuse dumps because our houses are becoming dump sites now. We are so happy as residents. The service delivery has so much improved. There's no more rubbish around everywhere. You know, um, now the Blauaya City Council are coming to collect rubbish. It has so much improved. And like in the past, there were flies all over, rubbish all over in the road, outside, houses of people. Now they are coming to collect almost every Tuesday. A representative of the residents also commended German and Australian governments for their timely donation. As the residents of Ulawa, we sincerely hope that the initiative by German, Australia and the Blair City Council uh, to donate uh, refuse collection compactors will go a long way in terms of resuscitating the capacity uh, for the Blair Council to be able to collect the refuse regularly, innovatively and timely. An NGO official said his organization sought to promote good relations between Bulawayo residents and the council. So ZDT's work with council in improving the image of their service delivery, consulting with engineers and department heads and city officials in ways in which we can send the right messages to residents and by promoting the good things that council is doing to improve the life of residents. Reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. A new Farmers Association for Women was launched in Harare last week to champion the impact they've made in the countryside. Muchanet Dachimuga gives us the story. Madzimai anova kumatunu akasiya na shondora kapera. Vakapara sanga norevari mmevechi zimai iro rikutari siru wakusimu ziravari miava. Mutunga miri weboka iri, rozivika na wanekuti Zimbabwe Indigenous Women Farmers Trust. Anu taura nishu kuwa mbuwa kwaro uye ni donzo risanga no iri. Organizasiyo ni udiaka tangane nyaye kutambuzika kutichisha ya maimputsi muna februari. Pataka pa muna december tijikarira maimputsi januari. Februari takama tatanga organizasiyo ni. Kutichichi ronge kasi madzimai. Tijia zunuzo dutri pa mwicheti. Tichikwanisa kutichunu kumbira zwa tuku da tripa mwechete. Tichikwanisa kuti adizo rambati shunga na kujembi. Topoda jitumira ma representative zedu. Kwa muano taura jimwezo jiminga mpini jinova zosera kumashure sema zimai. Tiche mwechete zusa wari mecha tuta uti tiezo uti tinziko newa kuru. Ndecha kuti toda maboho. Kuma pra zedu. Uzi ya utu nengo ne mvura yako. Uchikwanisa kutu urime zwa unoda. Nengu wa yako. Kusunga mire mvura mdenga. Na uti mvura mdenga apana shawa rubulita na uti mvura yisawa ni waka wanda. Wangwe wani mevano tana ungura nesho kukosha kwe kurima uye matambuzi kwa wangano sangana na omo basa iri. Shilukungo tineza chetu yi problemi kutikina yi tisama imports. Doho shilukungo tineza chetu. Vataza wazita yi tatine shukisha niti satu nungu na kuita shumisha kawanda pa upenye wedi. Asikuti magulu ndi basira ni kutinda kakwa nisa kuita shumisha kawanda pa kwa upenye wa uke nita mburi ya msu ni kuita shumu. Saka nda ikuru zira wa mwukida yi wago na hapa kutu waga minda kana wasi na minda. Wawo ni kurara makawaka Atina jekuri misa za ujaka kwana e, Jakada ise matrakta wa mwedo atina Mvura zaka kwana atina Saka kutikuri makwedu kunge kune punch Tirikuda kutitinge tichiwana ojinu Jineta kutikuri makwe nyore Ipa hapo tinengeta kutibia economically empowered Nekutitinengeta wana jinu Jese jekuri misa jaka kwana 
Zvakadai varimi ava vakatenda company Green Marketing Board nekuvapenza muchirongwa che contract farming. Safara zvekuti nekuti GMB yanga iripo uye yatuimbisa kuti kubaye nhasi zvinhu zvese vachanga kutozvitira nenguva. Uye zvevabva vati vachatanga nesu ya vari kuti contract farming. Vakuzotanga nesu sinzi tanga tiri vanhu vatati nawo zvara nhasi. Kana chirongwa ichi chikatsigirwa chichabatsira mukudzinga nzara yakatarisana nezviuru nezviuru zvevanhu munyika yose ndine mutoro wena we ATV ndiri muHarare Zimbabwe There has been a much bigger turnout for the Zimbabwe International Book Fair this year with more and more students visiting many see this as significant because of the rising dominance of social media Jairo Sonyama reports the Zimbabwe International Book Fair, which was held last week, attracted many students from in and around Harare amid efforts to motivate the young to take interest in reading. Some students told ATV that the book fair provided them with a platform to access new publications for various subjects. We are seeing the books that we have not seen that, are, that have been published uh, this year and uh, they are very ex exciting. Every continent, which Batsira, to go on a bonus of Batsiraji, a future Birgo future aid. I see many books that I've ever seen, and I like the books. Exhibitors say the biggest number of people who attended the fair were mostly students. Uh, we are receiving students from different schools surrounding Arari, the same as the primary schools, as far as Beatrice. We are also receiving our students from secondary schools who are coming for information from Trust Academy. School teachers say this year's exhibition is different and there's a lot to offer. As you know that the education system is changing by the day. We are moving into the global village, so we have come to see that whether these publishers of the textbooks, the Mambo Press, the College Press and other uh, uh, pub publishers are, are, are they in line with the new system which is coming up? You can, uh, you can actually see from the enthusiasm that they have going around the stands um, seeing all the books and uh, I think um, we actually actually seen quite some quite number of good books that we would like to uh, actually like to bring to our school which I think would be very helpful towards um, actually helping children learn. Meanwhile the book fair ended on Saturday with stakeholders describing it as a resounding success. Publishers also used the fair to unveil new academic books. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Establishing a new talent base is now a top priority for the Zimbabwe Rugby Union side as it aims to build a team capable of competing internationally. Robert Tafumane reports. The Zimbabwe Rugby Union is currently conducting trials in schools aimed at widening its pool of players to represent the country in the under-16 and 19 international matches. ATV covered one of the sessions at St. John's College in Harare, which the union is using for talent scouting. There's, there's a lot of talent on show, that's for sure. Um, you, you may or may not be aware that we've just come out of our main sort of regular 15th season. Um, so... Getting them into a seven structure and playing sort of the seven style of game has taken a little while, but the longer the day's gone on, the the better the structure's been, and um, yeah, there's there's a lot of promising uh, promising talent out there that hopefully will do uh, Zimbabwe sevens proud in the future. Crouch lamented the challenges facing rugby in Zimbabwe compared to other teams in the region. In relation to more more established unions, is. We, we don't have the uh, coaching, um, financial clouts, uh, support systems, and that sort of thing that you would find in the likes of the South African markets. Um, but you know, on, with limited resources, Zimbabwe rugby does very well. Um, we obviously, we, we need to grow those resources. We need to make sure that there's better coaching structures in place. He said there is a need to expand the player base and that his organization is pleased with the level of enthusiasm for the rugby shown in the high density suburbs. But there's been uh, great success stories coming out of the high density areas such as the Mbari Academy who this year uh, beat a number of private schools at under 16 level. So we need to make sure that um, the likes of the Mbari Academy are um, 
are, are being facilitated more. Meanwhile, the young sevens rugby players drawn from various schools in the country clashed in a round robin phase last week. The provinces were divided into two groups of four teams each in the under-19 category Pool A comprised of Arare North, Arare West, Matabeland South and Bulawayo. While Mashingo, Arare South, Mashingo West and Arare East battled out in Pool B. In the under-16 category, Pool A comprised of Arare South, East and West and Mashingo and West while Pool B has only three teams from Arare North, Mashingo and Bulawayo. Reporting for ATV, Robert of Money, Arare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.